Jackson, Mississippi is facing growing pressure to do something about its water crisis, which is rooted in racial inequity. The city, which is 83 percent black, was recently without clean drinking water for weeks. And the water system has had problems for decades. So now the Justice Department is threatening legal action unless things change. And the NAACP has filed a federal discrimination complaint accusing Mississippi of diverting federal money meant to address the water crisis to white communities with significantly less need. Joining me now is NAACP President and CEO Derek Johnson and Springboard to Opportunity CEO Aisha Nyandoro. Very happy to have you both with me uh, here this morning. Um, I want to start with you, Aisha, and just to hear, first and foremost, what is the current status of the drinking water in Jackson and how are residents there faring? No, thank you so much, Tiffany, and thank you for having me. You know, the current status is there are sprinklings of the city that are still under a border water notice, but how residents are feeling are frustrated, tired, and scared. There has been mixed messaging as it relates to the safety of the water. And so residents, quite frankly and fairly enough, are still not drinking that water, are still boiling the water, and are still dependent upon uh, um, bottled water for many of the basic necessities for drinking, brushing teeth, cooking food, or even baking saving their children in some instances. So it's a very precarious situation that we're still up against. And I'm glad that we're having this conversation today because individuals are trying to declare victory because the water is back on in some instances, but we haven't won anything. Well, speaking of the residents of Jackson who haven't won anything, while they are still under a boiled water advisory and while you see what's happening on your screen there, I just want to uh, play a sound bite from the governor, uh, Tate Reeves, who expressed how much he cares about Jackson. Take a listen. I've got to tell you, it is a great day to be in Hattiesburg. It's also, as always, a great day to not be in Jackson. Um, I feel like I should take off my emergency management director hat and leave it in the car and take off my public works director hat and leave it in the car. Derek, I find that disgusting. Um, can you talk to us about the uh, federal complaint that the NAACP is leading? And I just do want our viewers to know that Derek is a longtime resident of Jackson, so you are very familiar with what's happening on the ground there. Absolutely, and thank you for having us. Uh, so on Tuesday, NAACP, we filed a t Title VI uh, administrative complaint with EPA because of the pattern and practice of discrimination the state of Mississippi has had against the residents in the city of Jackson for the last three decades. Uh, we almost uh, had the same system failure in 2010. Uh, the, the mayors from 1997 up to current has consistently requested more resources from the state. And what's ironic about it is it's not even the state's money. It is federal clean water money that goes to the state and then the state allocate. They have they have intentionally not provided the city of Jackson with the resources to address it. And just recently, with the intended uses plan the state submitted for over $450 million that will come from EPA, the state is only allocating $500,000 for the city of Jackson. So we are also asking the citizens of the city to file an objection and ask EPA not to approve the state intended use plans, because it is, this is obvious discrimination. It is, it is decades long and is intended to starve the city of resources to maintain quality, clean water. 